Hi, I'm Sarah, the Education Manager for the American Independence Museum. Today's story isn't a story about a person or a place, it's a story about a recipe. We're going to follow this recipe over 400 years from England all the way to California. So let's get started. A fine dessert, four centuries, four families, one delicious treat by Emily Jenkins, illustrated by Sophie Blackall. A bit more than 300 years ago in an English town called Lyme, a girl and her mother picked wild blackberries. Their hands turned purple with the juice. The thorns of the berry bushes picked up the fabric of their long skirts. When they got home, the woman skimmed the cream off the evening's milk. She added it to the cream from the morning's milk and began to beat it all with a bundle of clean, soft twigs. Beat, beat, beat. Beat, beat, beat. Her arm began to ache. Beat, 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 beat. Fifteen minutes later, she stopped. Whipped cream. The girl drew water from the well. She put the berries in a piece of muslin and rinsed them. She squished and strained them through the muslin, getting rid of the seeds. Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed the fruit with the cream. You may lick the spoon, love, said the woman. So the girl did. Mmm. They carried the mixture to an ice pit in the hillside. It chilled their sheets of winter ice packed with reeds and straw. After the family supper, cold chicken, mushroom ketchup, and meat pie, they spooned the blackberry fool into blue dishes and served it to father and the older brothers. Even the baby had some. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Later in the kitchen, the girl whipped the bowl clean. What a fine dessert. A little more than 200 years ago, outside a city called Charleston, South Carolina, a girl and her mother picked blackberries from the plantation garden. A horse-drawn wagon delivered cream from a nearby dairy. The girl beat the cream with a metal whisk made by the local blacksmith. Beat, 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 beat. Her arm began to ache. Beat, beat. 10 minutes later, Whipped cream. The girl washed the berries and water from the well. Then she smashed them through a tin sieve with the back of a spoon getting rid of the seeds. Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and mixed it with the cream. You may lick the spoon, child, said the woman. So the girl did. Mmm. They carried the mixture to a wooden box in the basement. It was stacked with blocks of ice lined with lead and insulated with cork. They put the bowl in. After waiting a table at supper, where the master and his family ate turtle soup, roast turkey and corn cakes, and sweet potatoes, they spooned the blackberry fool into yellow dishes and served it. Later, the girl and her mother hid in the closet and licked the bowl clean together. Mmm, 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 what a fine dessert. A bit more than 100 years ago, in a city called Boston, Massachusetts, a girl and her mother bought two wooden boxes of blackberries at an open-air market. When they got home, their morning's delivery of pasteurized cream was waiting at the door in pretty glass bottles. The woman looked at a recipe book. She beat the cream with cast iron rotary beaters. Whirr, whirr. Five minutes later, whipped cream. The girl drew water from the new faucet in the kitchen. She washed the berries and smashed them through a sieve with her fingers. Her hands turned purple with the juice. Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. Do you want the spatula, my pet? said the woman. Yes, please, said the little girl, and she licked it clean. Mmm. They carried the blackberry fool to a wooden ice box stocked with blocks of ice they had delivered each day. After Sunday dinner, potato soup, roast chicken, and canned asparagus on toast, they spooned the fool into green dishes and ate it together with father and the younger brothers. Even the baby had some. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Back in the kitchen, the girl ran her tongue around the inside of the bowl. 
What a fine dessert. Just a couple of years ago, in a city called San Diego, California, a boy and his dad bought two cardboard boxes of blackberries and a carton of pasteurized organic cream at the supermarket. When they got home, the man printed out a recipe from the internet. The boy beat the cream with an electric mixer. Zzzz. Two minutes later, whipped cream. Reminded the boy of shaving foam. The man ran the water in the sink and washed the berries in a colander. He crushed them in a food processor, then pushed them through a sieve using a plastic spatula. Together they poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. Can I lick the spatula? asked the boy. Of course you can, buddy, said the man. So the boy did. Mmm. They put the mixture in the refrigerator, the doorbell rang, and friends surged in, bringing cartons of lemonade, grilled vegetables, enchiladas, and tomato salad. After a long, good dinner, the man and his son spooned the blackberry fool into white dishes and served it to their guests. Everyone gobbled it up, especially the babies. Mm, mm, mm. After the guests went home, the boy stood in the messy kitchen, licking the inside of the bowl. What a fine dessert. But the blackberry fool had been so very, very delicious, there wasn't much left. A fine dessert.